Well, here we are on Deer Hill, and it's a great afternoon for storytelling, and I think I, I got one I can tell you. Uh, my name's Thomas Burnett, and I'm a storyteller. I'd like to tell you a story called Jack Goes Hunting. Now, this is one of them traditional jack tales that you might have heard about. Well, down in East Tennessee, where I spend part of my year, there lived a boy named Jack, and he lived in a small house there uh, back up in the mountains uh, with his mom and daddy. You know, old Jack, he was right lazy, hardly did a lick of work around the place, and his mom and daddy was always trying to get him to help out, but, you know, he just wouldn't do a darn thing. He'd rather spend his day dr daydreaming about how he was going to go out into the world and uh, make his fortune. Well, one cold December morning, Jack's daddy had him out in front of the cabin there, and they was looking at some rabbit tracks that were there in the snow. And Jack's daddy said to him, You know, Jack, at the end of them tracks is going to be your breakfast. And, you know, Jack had a pretty good idea what daddy was getting at. And so he went back into the house there, and he got himself down the old single shot uh, uh, rifle that they had there hanging on the wall and he took the last two bullets that they had out of a, a drawer there uh, in a little table and he put them bullets into his jacket pocket and he started out. He started out to follow them rabbit tracks that daddy had showed him out in front of the house and he'd walked uh, well not too far but then again he wasn't in the best of shape and he walked until he got tired and he stopped to rest on a a log uh, underneath an old sweet gum tree and up there on a limb of that sweet gum tree there was nine wild turkeys. And Zach, he heard them a gobbling away there and looked up and sure enough there were them turkeys. And he thought, man, this is just my luck. I ain't hardly gone anywhere yet and there are nine wild turkeys. And he took that boat out of his pocket and put it in the old gun aimed up into the tree and pulled the trigger. Well, the charge of that gun cracked that old tree limb with them turkeys on it, and them nine wild turkeys were stuck up there with their toes in the crack. And them turkeys just beat themselves to death with their wings, and Jack thought, well, this is pretty good. I may not shine in them turkeys, but with one but I got me nine of them, and all I got to do is go up there and fetch them and put them in my sack. And that's what he did. He got them nine wild turkeys, and he stuck them in his sack. Well, he continued on then, following those tracks, until he came to a hillside where the tracks went down the hill. Those rabbit tracks going right down the hill, and he slipped and down and but made his way down the hill until he got down to the bottom. And when he got down there to the bottom, he heard a terrible ruckus up behind him. And looking up that hill, he saw a wild boar and a grizzly bad a fighting away. They was a growling and a snapping and a rolling and trying to you know, negotiate that hill there until they finally got down to the bottom. Well, when Jack seen them coming, he didn't know what to do. He threw down his rifle, stuck out his arms to protect himself from these critters that were rolling down the hill. And finally, that old grizzly bear it rolled right into Jack, and Jack's hand went down that grizzly bear's throat, come right out the other end. All Jack had to do then was grab a hold of that grizzly bear's tail and pull him inside out. Well, you know, the old wire boar, he didn't know what was going on, but when he saw he didn't have the grizzly bear to fight no more he started ramming into Jack with his big old six inch tusk and old Zach he he hid himself behind a tree but when he got tired of seeing that uh, that uh, wild boar there uh, uh, ramming into that tree with them tusks he reached down he got himself a rock and hit that wild boar right over the head and killed him dead 
Well, he took that grizzly bear and he took that wild boar then and stuck him in his sack and went on to following the rabbit tracks until he come to a crick. When he got to that crick, he heard a, a, a wings of flapping and he looked up the crick and there was five wild geese flying right down at him, wing tip to wing tip. And then he heard a ruckus downstream, and when he looked downstream, there was nine, uh, five wild uh, ducks uh, flying wingtip to wingtip right at him. And he just reached into his pocket and got that second bullet, loaded up his rifle, and he was about to take a shot at them birds when all of a sudden he heard a tick, 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 tick. Why, it was an old rattling snake right there before, right there on the ground by him. And he, before he had, a, you know, he didn't know what to do, but he decided he had to take a shot at that, that old rattling snake. And so he raised up that gun. He took a shot at that snake, but he missed. And that bullet, it went all over the place, a ricocheting from rock to rock to rock all over. And his old rifle, it exploded. And that charge of that rifle knocked... Uh, knocked old Jack head over heels and into the crick. Well, the barrel of that rifle, it flew upstream and it killed them five wild geese. And the stock of the rifle, it flew downstream and it killed them five wild ducks. And old Jack, he stood up there in the crick. He shook his head, tried to get some of the water out of his eyes. And when he did, he, he realized that his coveralls was full of fish. He stood up there and the weight of them fish in his coveralls caused the button on the snap to come off and that button shot across the creek and it hit the old rabbit right between the eyes, killed him dead. That bullet, it finally stopped the ricocheting around and it hit the snake right between the eyes and killed it dead too. Well, Zach or Jack, he thought, man, that's uh, pretty good. He said, two bullets, and I got me a rabbit. I got me uh, coveralls full of fish. I got me an old rattling snake. I got five wild ducks and five wild geese. They're all there in my sack now. Plus, I got me a grizzly bear, a wild boar, and nine wild turkeys. Well, he picked up that old sack for all that game, hoisted on in his back, and started home. And when he got home, of course, Daddy was pretty happy to see that Jack had finally earned his keep. And, you know, when I go down there now to Tennessee, and I ask folks about how old Jack and his uh, family is doing. Well, they tell me that they're doing just fine. <laughs>